Today we're going to talk about something called comparison operators inside JavaScript. And comparison operators go much together with what we talked about in the previous episode, where we talked about conditional statements, meaning that we talked about if, else if, and else statements, and also a switch statement. So a comparison operator is basically a way for us to compare statements inside a conditional statement. So if we were to go inside this if statement that I have down here, that basically checks if whatever is inside parentheses is true, it's going to go ahead and print out something inside the paragraph tags I have up here. So right now, if I were to save this, you guys can see we get nothing because right now the if statement is not fulfilled. So if I were to go inside the if statement and I want to check if x is equal to something, I can go ahead and say x is equal to 10. Now, what I wrote here might seem logical in the beginning, because if we take regular math, if I were to check if x is equal to 10, then we would actually have a true statement. But because we have one equal sign here, we're basically just saying that x is equal to 10 up here. Okay, so right now x is equal to 10. And then inside the if statement, we're just saying again that x is equal to 10. But we're not checking if x is equal to 10, if that makes sense. So in order to actually check if x is equal to 10, we're going to have to add another equal sign. So what we're doing here is we're basically checking if x is equal to 10 and it doesn't matter if the data is the same data type. Meaning that if I were to say that this 10 up here was inside a string, then it's still going to say this is true. If I were to go inside the browser now, you guys can see that we get it works. So if I want to go back here and say, okay, but I also want to check if the data type is the exact same type, what I can do here is I can actually go ahead and set another equal sign. By adding a third one, it also checks if the data type is the same. So if we were to actually save this, go inside my browser, you guys can see we get nothing because the condition is not true. If I were to go up inside my X up here and delete the string and just set it equal to 10, you guys can see we now get it works. So this is something we call comparison operators, where we simply compare data with another piece of data. Now, of course, we just set it equal to, you know, we checked if it was equal to a certain thing, but we can also go ahead and check if it's not equal. So if I were to go ahead and say, well, we want to check if it is not equal, you know, in a typical case, this is how we check if it is equal and we don't care about the data type, but if I want to check if it's not equal to 10, then I'm going to go ahead and change the first equal sign to an exclamation mark. So changing this one says it is not equal to 10, meaning that if I go inside the browser, you guys can see it disappears because right now 10 is equal to 10. So this statement here is going to be false. So what I can do is I can actually go ahead and change this to five just to show you guys. And now it's going to be true which means that we now get it works. Now what we can also do is we can actually go ahead and check if it's not equal to either the same number, or we can also check if it's not equal to the same data type. So right now when we do actually have exclamation mark equal to, the way we would do it if we were to check if it was equal to the same number or the same data type is we would actually write equal, equal, equal. But if we want to check if it's not equal to the same number or the same data type, we can go ahead and say exclamation mark uh, instead of the first equal sign. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and go inside the browser and refresh, and as you guys can see, it's gonna say it works, because right now, five is not equal to 10. If I were to change this one to a 10, we would actually get nothing, because right now, because right now the statement is not gonna be true, because you know 10 is the same data type as 10, and it's the same number. So if I were to go ahead and change the data type down here, which means that right now 10 is equal to 10, but it's not the same data type, as you guys can see, we now get it works. Now the next one we're gonna talk about is how to check if something is greater than or equal to or lesser than and equal to or, you know, whatever combination you might have with greater than or lesser than. So inside the conditional statement here, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back one. So we have 10, which is equal to 10. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete the equal signs. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check if x is greater than 10. Right now, x is not greater than 10, which means that when we go inside the browser, it's not gonna write anything. If we go to back inside the code and say, well, is x greater than or equal to 10, then it's gonna go ahead and spit something out, which right now it is. 
So if I go back inside here, we can also go ahead and check if it's lesser than by writing lesser than 10, which right now is not true, of course. So it's going to disappear. And we can go ahead and say if it's lesser than or equal to. So I'm just going to go back. And as you guys can see, we now get it back again. So this is how we do comparison operators, which is something we use very often with conditional statements. So it's very important that you guys know about these and learn how to use them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.